esta conferencia comenzará a grabarse. This is beginner 3, English for you, unit 3, lesson 3. Contents. In this lesson 6, the name of the lesson is Things I Like. Sports, food and drinks, the present simple in affirmative and negative, I like or I don't like. Questions in present simple with I, you, with they. Languages and adjectives and prices. Let's start. The vocabulary with the sports. Listen, please, and repeat the words. Swimming. Swimming. Yes, correct. Number two. Next sport. Skiing. Skiing. Excellent. Number three, tennis, tennis. Number four, soccer, soccer. Football, football. Perfect. And next, you can see a picture of a man. Yes, he is a soccer fan. Yes, he is a soccer fan. So, ah, look at the face. Look at the emoji, right? It's positive or negative, the emoji? Yes, the emoji is positive, right? The emoji is positive. So, what, what do you think? He likes or he doesn't like? Hmm? Yes, he likes, yes. So, he says... I like soccer. I like soccer. When we say I like is positive. Yes, is positive. I like is positive. Yes, is positive. Excellent, very good. Let's continue. Another vocabulary about food. Food. Pronunciation, please. Food. Yes, excellent. You are going to listen and repeat the words at home, okay? Let's learn about this vocabulary. Mm, number one, what is it? Yes, it's pizza, okay? Repeat, please, pizza. Excellent. Number two, mm, orange juice. Orange, orange. Yes. Number three, Chinese food. Chinese food. Aha. Uh -huh. Number four, Italian food. Italian food. Aha. Uh -huh. Next, mm, hamburger. Hamburger. Yeah. Number six, mm, ice cream. Ice cream. Yes, it is ice cream. And look at, mm, look at the girl. Look at the girl, look at the woman, yeah? He has an ice cream, right? He has a cone of ice cream on her hands. So she likes or no? It's positive or negative? What do you say? Positive or negative? Hmm? Yes, it's correct. It's positive. Aha, uh -huh, it's positive. Look at the emoji, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, she says, I like ice cream. Do you like ice cream? Hmm? I like ice cream. Yes, I like it a lot. Yeah. Chocolate. Vanilla, strawberry, mm, delicious. Yes. Practice, please, the pronunciation. Practice pizza, orange, Chinese food, Italian food, hamburger, and ice cream. Yes. Correct. When you see an emoji that is positive, you say, I like. 
I like. Yes. Do you like Chinese food? Do you like pizza? Do you like hamburger? Do you like Italian food? What do you like? What is positive for you? Chinese? Italian? Orange? Ice cream? What is positive for you? Think about it, please, and practice. Okay. Next, another vocabulary is about drinks. Okay, pronunciation, please. Drinks. Yes, perfect. Aha, uh -huh. yes. What is it? Is it a? Is it a? Maybe a bar, okay, maybe a restaurant, yes. Uh -huh. A bar, a cafe, yes, it could be a cafe. Uh -huh. Nice. Mm. Yes, this is drink, this is drink, 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 drink. Okay, all of them are drinks. Yes. For example, mm. tea, pronounce please, tea, uh -huh. coffee, coffee, wine, wine, beer, beer, coke, coke, Yes, these are the drinks, okay? These are the drinks. And we are going to see a person here. Mm, okay, he he's a man, right? He's a man. Okay, look at this. What does he have on his hand? Mm, maybe a cup of coffee, right? A cup of coffee, uh-huh, can be, yes, it's possible. So, mm, it's positive also, it's positive, yeah, look at the emoji, it's positive, yes. So, do we say like or no? Yes, it says I like coffee, mm. okay, coffee is delicious, right, okay, I like coffee, perfect, excellent. Now you practice a pronunciation, please. Coke, beer, wine, coffee, tea. I like, for example, tea. I like coffee. I like wine. I like beer. I like Coke. Okay, now you practice, please. You practice at home. Yes. Next, we are going to learn about the negatives, okay? How to say no, okay? How to say no. For example, mm, yes, the negatives here, look at the emojis, are in negative, yeah, negative. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, aha, uh -huh, for example, this person, okay, he, look at the man, Okay, look at his expression, right? Look at his expression. He's not positive, right? He's not positive, yeah. His expression is negative, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so is possible to say that he likes or no? No, no, right, no. Yes. Another, hmm, Maybe another expression, yeah, also negative, also negative, uh-huh, correct. But this expression is for food? No, no, this expression is for a sport, uh-huh, look at this. What sport is this? Volleyball, soccer, skiing, tennis, uh-huh, it's tennis, and this it's about sport, about a drink, about food. Hmm? What do you say? Aha, uh -huh. yes, it's correct. It's about food. For example, oranges? No, no. Uh, Italian food? Mm, Chinese food? It is P. 
pizza. Yeah, for pizza. Negative for pizza. Mm -hmm. So, he says, I don't like pizza. I don't like pizza. In this case, when we want to say no, we use this word, don't, okay? Don't. That's why we say no. Another example. Aha, uh -huh. about the tennis. When we want to say no, we use don't. I don't like tennis, for example, okay? So, what else don't you like? Hmm? Uh, maybe soccer? Maybe skiing? What don't you like? And about food? What don't you like? Uh, Italian food? Yes, I can say. For In my case, in my case, I, I want to say, I don't like, I don't like, for example, um, Italian food. Okay, I don't like Italian food. And in sports, for example, I want to say, I don't like skiing. Yeah, maybe. I don't like skiing. Yes, it's possible. Possible many, many combinations, right? Okay, so now you continue and practice with the sports, with the drinks, with food. Okay, now we have two ways, positive and negative form. Okay, in positive we say, I like soccer, right? I like soccer. Or another expression that we use is love. I love coffee, for example, okay? I love coffee. Love is not here in this case, amar. Okay, love in this case means encantar, me encanta, right? I love. And when you say I like, okay, you only say me gusta, me agrada, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now you, you decide what do you like and what do you love, okay? You decide. In negative, we only uh, say, I don't like tennis. Maybe I can say, I don't like soccer, or I don't like coffee, I don't like Coke, well, whatever, okay? You choose. Perfect. So, don't, don't, the expression don't, is equivalent to do not, okay? So, you can say, I do not like tennis. Or another possibility, I don't like tennis. Yes, you choose to escoge. Yeah? Both, ambas, both are correct. Both are correct. Thank you. Let's continue. Now you are going to listen to an audio, and according to the audio, you complete the sentences, okay? With like or don't like, okay? Another expression we are going to use with questions. Yes, with questions. Questions with I, you, we, and they, okay? We are going to, to practice this conversation. For example, the woman asks, do you like football? Mm -hmm. Do you like football? And the man answers in positive. Aha, uh -huh. football in positive. Yes, I do. Aha, uh -huh. do you like football? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Perfect. And what about another question? Do you like tennis? Mm, the answer is in negative. Look at the emoji. No, I don't. 
No, I don't. Okay? So, when we have a question, okay, the answer for us, okay, for me, yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. Okay? Example. A ver. Giovanna, eh, do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Giovanna, eh, do you like skiing? Mm, no, I don't. Okay, that is my answer. Now, what is your answer? Please, you practice the questions and the answers. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Remember that when we say don't, remember, no? Is equivalent to say do not, no? You, you can choose no, I do not, or no, I don't. Both are correct. Okay, next you are going to listen an audio and you are going to decide what do they like, put a check, or what don't they like, okay? You make a cross, okay? You're going to listen an audio, okay? And practice at home, okay? Next, we continue with the grammar in positive and negative form in present simple. Okay. In affirmative, okay, in affirmative, we have the pronoun I, you, we, and they. Okay. And the verb, okay, we have the verb like. And the complement, for example, can be soccer. So, it's correct to say, I like soccer. You like soccer. We like soccer. They like soccer. Okay? Example in Spanish, we can say, no? A mí me gusta el fútbol. I like soccer. A ti te gusta el fútbol. You like soccer. A nosotros nos gusta el fútbol. We like soccer. And finally, for other people, okay, they, a ellos, a ellas, they like soccer. Yes, that is in affirmative. Mm -hmm. What about in questions? With double H questions. Remember, an example of double H is what, no? What, que significa Okay, no? Right. Example, what do you like? Aha. Si me preguntan a mí, Giovanna, what do you like? Yo responderé, I like, y lo que es, no? I like soccer. I like pizza. I like um, coffee. Okay? ¿Y qué hay para otras personas? Por ejemplo, hay un grupo de personas. María, José, eh, Alessandra. ¿Ok? What do they like? Recuerda que hemos visto ya en unidades anteriores que they reemplaza un grupo de personas. What do they like? ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué les agrada a ellos? Well, depends. ¿Ok? The answer can be they like, ¿ok? Si los vemos a todos reunidos comiendo una pizza, yo diré, mm, they like pizza, ¿ok? That is my answer. What about yes, no question? With yes, no question, the characteristic is that the answer, remember, the answer can be yes or can be no. Okay, that is a difference with the another question. Okay, preguntemos the question. Do you like, example, Giovanna, do you like coffee? Hmm, si me preguntan a mí, uy, yo, mi respuesta es inmediata. Yo voy a decir, yes, I do. Correct. Giovanna, uh, do you like tea? 
Mm, Joanna, do you like tea? Well, my answer may be no, I don't. Mm -hmm, that is my answer. And what about other group of people? Okay, other group of personas, other group of people. For example, they. Do they like? Do they like tea? A ellos? Do they like tea? Well, possible, maybe, I don't know. A possibility is yes, they do. Okay? Sí, a ellos les hará. Yes, they do. Or maybe negative. No, they don't. Or no, they do not. Yes, it's possible. They do not or they don't. Okay? Perfect. Now you're going to look at the picture, okay? And try to guess what's Colleen's job, okay? What's Colleen's job, okay? Tell me, what's Colleen's job? Okay, imagine. A doctor? Mm, no, no. A uh, taxi driver? Mm, no. A uh, teacher? Um, no. <laughs> okay, so let's listen, please. Uh -huh. Colleen Brody from Dundee. Dundee is a place, okay? Dundee is a place. Well, Colleen says, Hello, my name is Colleen Brody. I come from Dundee in Scotland. But now I live and work in London. I have a very small flat near the center. I live there with two friends. I'm a waiter and I'm also a drama student. I work part time in an Italian restaurant. I eat Italian food and I drink Italian and French wine. I don't drink beer. I don't like it. I speak two languages, Spanish and French, but I don't speak Italian and I don't play sports. I want to be an actor. Uh -huh. Okay, many, many, many words, right? Many words. New words, new words, yes, new words. Okay, let's learn these new words. But first, please tell me what's Colleen's job? Okay, look at, is this a restaurant? Yes, probably, okay, a restaurant or a bar, okay. So, what word is related to a bar in this text? Hmm? In this text, tell me. Friends, friends is a is a job? No, no. Uh, here, beer? No. In this case, Colin is a. Okay. A ver, busquemos en donde hay un verbo to be y un article, así como hemos visto en la unidad pasada. Vamos, verb to be an article. A ver, ver to be an article, ver to be an article. A, uh, a, uh, is, a, uh, ok, o ver to be an, a, uh, ver to be an, a. Uh. Uh, yes, I found it here. I'm a waiter. Waiter, in this case, he is a waiter. Ok, a waiter, mesero. Yes, mesero, right? Yeah. So, Colin is a waiter. Mm -hmm. Colin is a waiter in this restaurant, in this restaurant, okay? In this restaurant. Perfect. Let's continue. You practice, practice, listen and read, okay? And then practice. Now, to learn the vocabulary, we are going to match 
much, remember much, unir. Okay, a verb in the column A with a line in the in B. Okay, come on, shake it out. Uh -huh. A with B. Example. Have. Have Italian food, sports in a flat, two sisters in a bank from China to be a good professional, beer, French. What is? Well, we remember last unit, okay? Recordamos la unidad pasada. That half talks about possession a relation, right? Remember? So in this case, have two sisters. Ah, a relation. Have two sisters. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Another. Live. Live in a flat. Live in a flat. Uh -huh. The verb live, the verb vivir, the verb live in a flat. Next, work in a bank, work in a bank. Next, come, come, come from China, come from China. Proceder, venir, venir de algún lugar. Eat Italian food. Eat Italian food. Drink beer. Drink beer is for liquids. Play. Play. Play French? No. Play to be or play sports? Yes, play sports. Mm -hmm. Play sports. Speak. Speak. French. Yes, speak French. I want to be a good professional. Want to be a good professional. Excellent. That these are the verbs, okay? These are the verbs, okay? And this is the complement, okay? This is a complement, okay? Let's pronounce all of them. Have two sisters. Live in a flat. Work in a bank. Come from China. Eat Italian food. Drink beer. Play sports. Speak French. Want to be a good professional. Okay, perfect. Now you are going to listen to a conversation with Colin and complete his answers, okay? Examples of these questions. Colin, where do you come from? Well, the Colleen's answers, okay, the Colleen's answers are, I am from Scotland, from Dundee. What is the verb? The verb that express an origin, from. Hmm? Remember the verb? I, ha, ah, aquí lo tenemos, from, from, before, come. I come from Scotland. From Dundee. Next, number two. Do you live in Dundee? Aha, uh -huh. my answer is negative. It's negative. No, I, what is necessary? What? Hmm? No, I don't. Aha, uh -huh. no, I don't. And next, we continue with another positive sentence. Okay, with a positive sentence. Example, I live and, remember the text, I live and in London. 
Mm? What is the occupation? Remember, what is the activity? Okay, live and work. Uh -huh. I live and work in London. Do you live with friends? Yes, I, what is necessary? Don't, no, no, yes, I do, uh -huh. only do, yes, I do. I with two friends, okay? We continue with information, affirmative. I live, I live with two friends. Number four, where do you work? Where, where do you work? Hmm. I, what is the action? Work. I work in an Italian restaurant. Do you like Italian food? Yes, I do. Continue, continue, extra information. I mm, eat a lot. What is the verb? I like it, uh -huh. I like it a lot. Yes, I like it a lot. Number six, do you drink Italian wine? Yes, I, similar, do. I, what is the verb, what is the action? I drink, uh -huh. I drink, no, yes. Oh, another possibility, you can say, yes, I like wine. Yeah, it's possible. Yes, I like wine. Or yes, I drink wine. No problem. Okay. But I drink beer. Okay. But I mm, drink beer. In this case, we have two ideas. Positive, okay, like wine, another negative, okay. So, what is a negative? How do we say no? I don't, uh huh. I like wine, but I don't drink beer. No, it's possible, mm -hmm. correct. Do you like your job? No, I. No, I don't. Yes, no, I don't. Why don't? Because I want to be, I want to be an actor. Yes, I want to be an actor. It is only for the moment, no? It's not forever. Do you speak Italian? Do you speak Italian? No, I, negative, no, I don't. Yes, it's correct. No, I don't. I, Spanish. I, Spanish. Hmm? Positive or negative? I speak Spanish and French. But I speak Italian. Hmm? Here is negative, but I don't speak Italian. Uh -huh. Okay, positive speak Spanish and positive speak French, but negative, no, no speak Italian. Okay, he doesn't speak Italian. Correct. Next, we are going to match the countries with the languages, okay, languages. Remember, languages means idiomas. Remember, the unit one. For example, for the country Germany, the language is German, okay, German. For Brazil, for Brazil, okay, Brazil, the language is por Portuguese. For Canada, okay, mm, it's a surprise, yes. For Canada, there are two languages, two languages. English and 
French. English and French, two languages in Canada. Next, number three, in France. What is the language? It is French. French, correct. Well, Germany is okay. Uh -huh. Next, Italy. In Italy, the language is Italian, yes. In Japan, Japanese, yes. In Japan, the language is Japanese, yes. Perfect. In Mexico, what is the language? In Mexico, the language is Spanish, yes. Spanish, yeah, no. Yes, Spanish, correct. In Egypt, the language is Arabic, yes, Arabic. In Spain, the language is Spanish, Spanish. Mm -hmm. And finally, in Switzerland, in Switzerland, oh, many, many countries, many, many languages, right? Many, many languages. Look at this. Mm. People speak German, people speak Italian, and people speak French. Wow, three languages people speak, okay? In Switzerland, in Switzerland. Uh -huh. So, in a conversation, what language do they speak in Brazil? Hmm? What language do they, they, a group of people, speak in Brazil? Hmm. The man thinks, no? Thinks in Brazil. Okay. Ah, it's easy. They speak Portuguese. They speak Portuguese. Uh -huh. Excellent. Another possibility to say is, in Brazil, people speak Portuguese. Another example, yeah, for example, in Canada, people speak English and French. Another, uh, in Italy, people speak Italian. In Germany, people speak German. Yes, that is the idea. Next, when we can um, uh, describe, when we want to describe something, okay, an object, okay, we use adjectives, okay, we use adjectives. These adjectives come before the noun. What is before and this, okay? before the noun. So, we have, for example, a Japanese camera. Or we have, for example, a French wine. Okay, a French wine. In this case, please tell me, what is correct? A French wine or a wine French? What is correct? Tell me, please. Come on, come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, you are correct. A French wine is correct. And obviously, a wine French is incorrect. Why is correct? Because we have the article, the adjective, the noun. That, that's it. In number two, another thing that we need to consider with adjectives is that we don't add S to the adjective in plural. Uh -huh. For example, Spanish oranges, yeah, Spanish oranges, oranges is in plural, right? It's in plural. Come on, jeans is in plural. Uh -huh. So, what is correct? Spanish oranges or Spanish oranges? 
What is correct? Blue jeans or blue jeans? Tell me, what is correct? Uh -huh. Excellent, you're very intelligent. Spanish oranges. Correct. And Spanish oranges, okay, is totally, totally incorrect. Okay, incorrect. Mm -hmm. Correct. Spanish oranges, correct. Spanish oranges, incorrect. Blue jeans, correct. Blue jeans, incorrect. Uh huh. Mm. Yes, what is it? What is it? Where is it from? What is it? Where is it from? We don't know. Oh, look at this question. What are they? What are they? Where are they from? Hmm? In plural. And this question is in singular. This question is in plural. Aha. Uh -huh. What is the answer of this question? What is it? Where is it from? My answer is it's, because it's singular, it's a Japanese. Japanese is the characteristic, is the adjective. It is a Japanese camera. It's a Japanese camera. Correct? And next. What is the answer? They are, they are Spanish oranges. They are Spanish Oranges, mm -hmm. correct, in plural, it's not necessary to add ES, no, to the adjective, and not necessary A or AM, okay, remember, perfect. Now we are going to learn about the vocabulary of prices and currency, okay, pronunciation please, prices, currency, uh-huh, excellent, let's talk about what is currency. Currency is the official money, is the official money in a country, okay? Es la moneda oficial de un determinado país. For example, look at this currency, look at this symbol, okay? Mm -hmm. Another, another currency, another kind, another kind of currency, and another kind of currency. Yes, we have four kinds of currency. What are they? Mm, it is pounds. Repeat, please. Pounds. Next. It is dollar. It is yen. Okay. It is euro. Aha. Uh -huh. Perfect. We have four currencies. Pounds. Okay. Pounds is usually used in the United Kingdom. Okay, the United Kingdom. Next, dollar is usually used in United States. Yen is usually used in Japan. Okay, and euro is usually used in all the countries from Euro. Okay, all the European countries. Correct. Examples. We have this 12, uh -huh, 12, the currency, dollars, okay, 12 dollars, 99, okay, 99, ya no se dice point, ni that, ni bureau, no, nothing, okay, it's not necessary. Next, another, 22, 22, and the name of the currency, 22 pounds, 80, 22 pounds, 80, correct. Now you have to practice. Mm -hmm. Look at those prices. 
another question, how much is it? The question, how much is it, refers to singular or plural? What do you say? Singular or plural? Uh -huh, yes, excellent, singular. And how much are they? How much are they? Singular or plural? Mm -hmm. Excellent, you're very intelligent. Plural, aha. Uh -huh. Yes, you can see it, no? a camera, right? A camera. And uh, remember, no? The jeans, jeans, uh -huh. jeans is in plural. It goes one, two, no? plural. <laughs> Okay, so how much is it? We know that it is a Japanese camera. Remember, we know that it is a Japanese camera. So how much is it? And we know that they are blue jeans. Okay, they are blue jeans. So how much are they and how much is it? Okay, we have this the quantity. Okay. Remember that when we say it, we refer to the camera. And when we say they, we refer to the genes. Okay? That remember, please. And with a price, okay, I can say, how much are they? Ah, uh, they are, they are 17, the currency is dollars, 17 dollars, and next, two by two, 50. Okay, perfect. What about this? Uh -huh. It's, because it's only one, it's 99 dollars, 99. <laughs> okay, that is, that is it. So now please go to your workbook and solve the exercises about lesson one. That's the end of this class. Thank you so much. See you in the next class.